some good changes. Just minutes from downtown Stockton, the Delta Sculling Center welcomes anyone who wants to learn how to pilot one of their thin, fast boats. Good job over the hyacinth. Their group includes beginners, adults, those with disabilities, anyone who wants to come out in the early morning and late afternoon to row on the San Joaquin River. I feel really unstable with this. The club's been pushing in recent years to get people of all economic levels to row. So a lot of the kids from some of the neighborhoods here have never even been to the Delta. In this sport that has a reputation for being a bit snooty. It's unfortunately been known as an elite sport and we're understanding that to be, we know that to be a true sport you can't be elite and you can't choose who plays the sport that you need to include everybody. Yeah, I mean I think rowing historically has always been pretty white dominated. Um, and I think that there's always just been a lot of issues with accessibility and just representation. So, but I think that's changing. And as part of their outreach to the entire community, the club is showing a movie this weekend about the first all-black high school rowing team called A Most Beautiful Thing. I didn't even know what rowing was. We don't even swim. It brought guys from rival gangs together in one boat. The movie is about the Manly High School rowing team from Chicago a city much bigger than Stockton. But for Chicago native and Sculling Center founder Pat Tyrone, the two cities have a lot in common. All of the glory of Chicago and of Stockton and all of the hard things about both cities are here. She met the author of a book about the all-black rowers. That was the basis for the movie. And my heart was never the same after hearing him speak, and I realized I had a new mission, and that was to make what the goodness is of this sport available to everybody regardless. And the club's effort for more inclusion seems to be coming at the right time. Most people have been aware of the issues, you know, but sometimes it takes more than just that to, you know, do something about it. So I think that there's just been a lot of momentum lately, and it's exciting, and I'm hopeful. A project bringing change on the water and in the community in a way few might have ever imagined. In Stockton, Will Hereford, KCRA 3 News.